Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Hope. Tuesday, and Hope's back here running camera. Do you have your phone on you? I do. Would you, uh, Hulk is making fun, because, you know, Damon is still using our camera. Would you please take a picture for the folks? And, uh, <laughs> Hulk is making fun of my homemade iPhone uh, tripod, and it's, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's, it's, uh, it's a tripod, but it has a flashlight holding up my iPhone. It's, <laughs> it's kind of, uh, thank you, Chris. It is a little, as I would like to say, uh, ghetto rigged, hillbilly ingenuity, but I didn't want to, I couldn't find an extension cord for the light. That's, I just want to go out on saying that. Well, what gets me <laughs> is, man, you took probably 14 seconds one time and built you. I did. An iPhone yeah. holder. It didn't look much better than what you have now, no. but you built it. You know where it's at? Probably in storage. It's in storage. It's and let me say, I know exactly where it's at, and I'm going to say these words. Y'all probably agree. I am too lazy to go get it. First step to getting help is admitting <laughs> All right, man. I know I don't even want to talk about it anymore, this whole Ferguson thing. and but hope you, you did show me one protester who says it all. One protester says it all. Here's the picture, and Hike Hoke said, a picture is worth a thousand words. I don't even know if we can respond to that. <laughs> Let's not. Let's not. But I will say this. After you told me what Charles Barkley said Ooh. on the radio show, go type in Charles Barkley radio show. Yes, 97.5 uh, interview. You and uh, you are going to be a fan. If you're on Facebook, you can find it because it's all over Facebook. But Charles Barkley lays down the law. The law. The law. All right. L-A-W. Let's go into, I know if our lady friends are watching, they're probably not going to like this, but I want some input right quick. Okay. Johnny Football. Yep. Is it his time? Is it Johnny Football's oh. time? Hope you can you can chime in on this too. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Do you because, agree? And I'll tell you why. Because tell they spent a number one pick. They need to see where they stand with him. Now the time's good, isn't it? So you're saying that Rex Ryan made a bad decision by getting Geno Smith yeah. in the first round. I think he was the second round. Was he second round? Yeah. Yeah, that was a bad decision. Second round, yeah. He's horrible. You know what? Hoyer has come back and won a couple games late, but they were only behind because he threw interceptions early. <laughs> so why not? Yeah. I, I think he sat there long enough. He came in, had a couple of uh, good drives. He, of course, he's still going to make some young mistakes. But, yeah, I, I, I think he has the ability, if he can learn to play like a Russell Wilson, kind of a little smarter, which I doubt it. He's, he's kind of out there. But I think, uh, I think it's time. I'm with you. I totally agree with both of you guys. Uh, if you're going to spend your first-round draft pick, throw him in there, let him play. Now, they are in a – they still have a chance to make the playoffs. But I'm with you. Hoyer is not going to get it done. Well, let me tell you what. I don't know what division it is, but the Atlanta Falcons are leading that division. At 5-7, and seven, by the SC way. SC South. And I love that the Carolina <laughs> Panthers are still in the hunt at 3-8-1. and one. <laughs> That is football. That is quality football in that division. Speaking of football, DeMarco Murray, who went to school with uh, a teammate of his from Oklahoma, is Makes sense. said to be having an affair with his wife. With the friend's wife? With the friend's wife. And the friend took to Twitter posting a lot of stuff about it. I think that guy's name is Blake. Don't get me wrong. I just kind of I just kind of looked at the Twitter feed and he was like, Look, Mrs. with DeMarco Murray, she's cheating with my he's cheating with my wife. It's a big deal. Do you think that's gonna cause any controversy for him to keep running the ball? Are we back? You're back. Okay, that was my time to eat alarm. Time to eat alarm. Thank you, Hope, uh, camera guy. I just no, it will not. It will not. I don't think so. And I have never understood people who went, look at me. Something in my life is screwed up, and but I'm gonna tell you about it. That's what I've they were, never. Understood that's what they were saying. They were saying that is why I post this in social media. And he went, if you could see the hurt I'm going through, 
never mind, I'm headed to church. That is his Twitter. <laughs> oh, man, this world is awesome. This world is awesome. What's coming up here at Cinema this week? Oh, don't forget the free concert, Waco 100, Olivia Lane up front, Cowboys in the back. You know we're one of the only places in town that has the NFL Network, so the Cowboys will be on there. Uh, Hope probably won't get to watch it. I don't know. He may have to come up here in his dancing shoes. But then we got X's Fries, Camaro Mancha Friday, and Guilty Pleasure, and a little casting party uh, Saturday night. It's going to be a full weekend. Yep. Fingers crossed that it does not rain rain us out on Saturday. Looks like now that we have moved up our chances on Sunday to 60%. Not good. But maybe we can get Saturday out of the way. Have a great day, man. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. We are out of here. Time to eat.